What's good everyone? Envy Astro here, back at it yet with another video here with the one and only <laughs> said Hendo. Said Hendo. What's up with that dude? Hey, we'll I, see. I guess he's not feeling it today because today we're filming we'll like see. three, four videos, so you guys probably see us with the same shirts and clothes, everything's the same. But we're trying to bust these videos out because daylight is a problem now, man. Dude, we just have a lot of things to talk about. I we know, and we sure do, dude. And, get it done. And, and, and my boy Adam at 20 hooked us up with some 50 50 HQ props, dude. He's, actually, it was actually, it was Adam a champ, right? got him from the champ. From the champ. And the champ hooked their boys up, baby. That's right, If dude. you don't know what these are, baby, these are HQ props. 50, 50. Tell them what you, they you are. You already flew them, though. You already I have flew. already flown. So, the first impression is going to be on me. Yes. Because That's I have why not we're doing flown it. these props. <laughs> and um, I'm going to give my first impression, dude, because these may be... I've been hearing that they're really good and I had to like hush that. my mouth. Because once I got these and I flew them, I was like, ooh, uh, don't tell Ivan. <laughs> We're just gonna hand it to him. Don't say a word. Just see what he thinks. That's why right, we're doing so this. We're baby. gonna do first our first impression. impressions, but before that, I'm gonna head home. Well, I'm gonna jump uh, home mm -hmm. and then go a little bit over like the material and mm -hmm. pitch and stuff like Feel that. All that stuff. So we're gonna go ahead home and then we'll come back and then fly him. HQ's. So we'll do that thing. Okay, so here we have the on you prop by HQ. This is a 5050 HQ V1S and it's still a PC material prop. Go ahead and weigh this prop for you guys because it seems to be pretty light. And we're looking at 4.4 grams. And then just for comparison, since this is my favorite prop, the 5152 by Gemfan, we're looking at 4.9, so slightly heavier than the new 5050 prop. So in terms of price, this is at uh, about $3.60 plus whatever ship it may be. But, and then the gem fan is at $3.30, I believe. So you're looking at a little bit cheaper with the 5152. But what I'm expecting from this prop, from their previous uh, V1S props, they do have the 5040, 5043, and then the 5048. And now we're looking at a 5050. I am expecting a better top in now. And that is the main reason I don't fly the 5048s with the 5043s. I usually tend to fly at the top end of the throttle. And that's the reason I don't fly the HQs because the surface area is a little bit thinner than what I'm used to with the 5152s. And that's something I love about the 5152s. The topping that they give you and then the efficiency for the prop and the speed that they give you is I think is great. It's one of the best props out there. But hey, this is why I'm gonna be doing the first impressions on the 5050. Maybe this will be the new prop that I switch over to. I don't know. I hope the topping is there because if the topping is there, like the 5152 or at least close to it, I may have a new prop because it seems to be very, very durable. From what I heard, it's one of the most durable props that HQ has made because I did previously use the 5043s and the 5048s, and they were a bit, uh, I wouldn't say they're the most durable, but they're, they're durable for what they are. But in terms of uh, if you were to bend it about here, you'll start getting some oscillations or some vibrations during your flight. And it, it was just kind of hard to actually bend it back without you having a little crease on the blade. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I am expecting a lot better topping than what the previous V1S props provided you. I don't know about the low end pitch is a little bit more aggressive. And therefore, I am expecting the low end to actually decrease compared to the V1S, the 5043s and the 5048s. But with that, let's actually go ahead and go back to the field and get my first impressions on these props. So let's do that thing. All right, so now that you know a little bit more about yeah. this prop, let's actually get my first impressions run on the Skeleton Proton. Yes. So, of course, you guys should know this setup already. It's been like on the past videos. And um, if you guys don't, I'll put it down in the description below. But basically, the only difference here is changing up the 50-50 prop, which is a new HQ prop. And I'll be getting my first impression, see what I think. And, and they're durable. The they're, they're supposed, well, to, they're, be they're supposed to be durable props. So we're going to check that out. Baby. We're going to let out. you know what we think. Maybe I'll run it around the track since I've been running the track all day with the 5152. Yeah. Run see my what, track. See what, I feel. See what oh, you think. You have to say it's yes, track, my track. I set it up. I designed it. It's my damn track. Dang. All right, all right. Well, hey, let's get this thing rolling and get my first impressions. <laughs> let's get it on, man. Start jacking around. Exactly. That's why I want to try it too. So so I'm gonna do a little bit, bit uh, mix of both, kind of run the track a little bit, freestyle here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, do what you do. It's called first impressions. This is what you want. Whatever you want. Because I'm gonna have a new favorite prop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I gotta ask you right now. First off, you just did the tightest, just the tightest part of the track. Let me ask you questions. That's, that was the tightest that part of your track. Not there, dude. I will tell you that right now. Top end's not there. No. All right. Okay. Compared to what? My 5152. Okay. I've been running those all day. Oh, oh my uh, god. Turtle mode. Wait, wait. Till we get turtle mode. Gates down. 
Well, well. Come on, dude. Uh, oh, well, hold on a second. Did Envy Astro just crash? Nah, dude, I don't Just crash. trying to test out a prop. I think you crashed. Matter of fact, I'm going to walk over nah, and I'm going to get no. evidence that you crashed. <laughs> you lucky my pockets were full of batteries. You chump. <laughs> Look, he knocked down the gate and everything. We got him on video. Look at that. Look at that. I'm zooming in and everything. Look at it. Uh huh. Well, why are you over here if you're good? Why are you over here if you're good? Oh yeah, check your props. How durable are they now since you just tested that? Oh, <laughs> look, at that. look at that. Hey, real world, I crash. You know, I'm not human, just like said Hando said. But you're look. not human. <laughs> oh no, yeah, yeah, I'm human. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see. All right. All right. You good? All right. All right. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Dang, I don't fly like standing up anymore. It's gonna be feel weird. Yeah. Well, here's what it is. Make do. Damn, they don't feel as poppy, dude, as my 5152 do. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, dude, I don't know, man. But like, it feels really, really good, though. Don't get me wrong. Uh huh. But compared to my 5152, I don't know. These may be more efficient, though. You have your DVR on? Yeah, I have my DVR on. Awesome. Yeah, dude, like, not even the top and the death are not there. I'm still liking my 5152 better. <laughs> Ooh, that was good. That was yeah. Good. So, one thing I am noticing though. Yeah, what are you noticing? Like, um, they will give you kind of like the same feel. Yes. If you have to fly it smoother though. Like, you, you yes, you do. Like, but the 5152, if you mess up or something, it'll yes. get you out of that trouble pretty uh, quick. Uh huh. These, it seems like you have to kind of fly smooth and and stay within your line. But hey, it's pretty good. It feels so awkward flying standing up now. That's yeah, you, the biggest you, difference right there. That straight away that yes. I've been running all day. Yes. And compared to these to the video one, two. What about on the power loop? Do you, can you tell there? Oh, wow. oh, oh! You crashed right in front of us, man. Again, same spot. All right, you can back up. Lap. One more, more lap. All right. See, there's good these for sure. There. Yeah. Boy, this track is just slick, it, it dude. It is nice, dude. You did a really good job today, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, oh, power oh, oh, gone. Power That's gone. An AC too. So, yeah, well, I mean, even AC <laughs> runs out of juice eventually, bro. What? Yeah. All right. Unplug, unplug, unplug. unplug. Okay, so tell us what you think. All right, you want me to just conclude the I, video? I know. Right I don't want you to conclude it. I want you to tell me what you think and we'll conclude it together. Go ahead. All right, so <clears throat> first impressions. All right, so you guys basically saw this track on the DVR, obviously. I've been running this track all day with my 5152s. This is literally the very first battery I get on with these props. The only thing we changed was obviously the props like we said in the beginning of the video. So that being said, the main difference I noticed right as soon as I took off, when my 5152 just give me that pop straight off there, these kind of uh, needed a little bit more throttle. Around the turns, like I was saying earlier though, they do give you that same feel, but you have to fly a little bit different. And uh, compared to the 5152s, you can get out of like trouble quicker so they have like a better response if you yes. want 52s although they are a heavier prop than this prop. yes I, I, like i said if you guys are, should have already seen the specs and the weight of this thing i don't really know because i haven't weighed it myself but uh they are obviously a lot lighter than the 5152s dude i don't know dude, dude they're, they're incredibly light wait till you stick they, it on I, the scale I don't, I, I don't know they, they should already know by now but and then the other huge difference where i noticed was whenever we had that straightaway down there and then that power loop over the tree that top end is not there, dude. There's, I have not flown a prop that feels like the 5152 top end wise. Maybe if they go to 5052? Maybe if they go to 50.5? 50, 50. They already have that, don't they? Not in that style. It's not the I, same I material. Hey, durability, look, I crashed, what, like three times? Click yes. something? Look, dude, they're great. Durability. No, tips are still on like there. On durability, dude. And that, they, didn't, they didn't actually bend or anything. Durability. Now, that could have been just the, the crash itself that yeah. saved that. But I'll just tell you what I already know. When they do bend, it's not really it's easily not bent. And when you bend it back, it's just fine. It's no big okay, deal. But, hey, that was basically my first impressions. Just compa I'm comparing this to the 5152, so keep that in mind. 5152 still has a better top end than these, but these are still great. They feel very, very smooth, and uh, the torque's still better on 5152. I don't know why. Why? I, 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 I got to remember these are different motors I'm running, so you guys may be getting different um, different feels compared to different motors. It's always that prop uh, motor combination, so it just doesn't matter. You want to go ahead and conclude this together? Okay. So 
Here it is. So here it is. I just feel like that with these particular props, they are lighter, so therefore they're not the load up on your actual motor is not the same as it would be if it was on 51 See, but you, you because expect, it's lighter though, you expect from a lighter prop to kind of like fill up your motor you would think yeah. you would think but sometimes you need a little bit of weight for that motor to be like yeah yeah like that's the it. f80s right exactly the f80s need a more aggressive prop exactly although they have that torque they still need a exactly. more aggressive prop exactly so there is a happy medium in there so these these might be perfect for someone else with say lighter motors lower kv or something like that but Nevertheless, they still fly really, really well. It's a fun, fun prop. They don't bend that much. I think it's good. I think so it's good, I think dude. it's a wrap, man. I mean, yeah. I'll fly these suckers. Put them in my bag. I'll still fly. <laughs> yeah, I'll fly these. Yeah. I don't have. I rotate I don't them. I'll race out. with them. And, I, and I'll be honest with you. We already know HQ is a little bit more expensive than most props. Yeah. And I'm sure these will probably be that same way. I'm partial to Jim Fan, but at the same time, something come along better, man. Jim Fan is not sponsoring uh, me, so. In my opinion, uh, they, Jim Fan is not spon uh, sponsoring me either, but my opinion, my style of flying, yep. 5152 still fit me better than these. 5152? Uh, uh, of course, this is my first impressions. Maybe I'll start flying more packs, maybe I'll start liking how these feel. Who knows? I don't know, but my first Who impressions, knows? I still lean over for the 5152s with my style of flying. I don't know, what about you? Not, not same, thing. Both same thing, same thing. Same thing, I like them. No, I like, I like them. I like cause, cause I'm I was excited about HQ. Yeah. I know that they're great quality. At first, and they they're keep balanced. Out a lot of props, they're balanced. They're great. great. They're and they're great. light. These are probably the lightest ones on the market right now that have the same durability and also performance. So yeah, hey. just keep that in mind. Yeah, so though that is right there is my first impressions on the 5050 HQs. I said I already flown them, so he kind of knows what to tell you guys. And with that, guys, hope you guys kind of enjoyed this quick video showing you guys my first impression on the 5050 props by hq with that don't forget to comment like and subscribe and see you guys on the next one peace out